Hello, my name is Fran Sands. This is myboxingcoach.com. In this video, we are going to look at probably the most common defence that you see used in a boxing ring. Um, there's a reason why it's the most common defence that you see used. Um, it's because it's highly effective. Highly effective helping you move into range, under protection, and highly effective generally to help you stop taking shots, especially straight shots. It's known as covering up, but very often people associate covering up as if it's some kind of a really passive defence. And but I'm going to show you how to make sure that it's a it's an assertive defence. It's a defence that let lets you take the initiative, um, if you like. It's not weak, it's, it's actually highly effective at what you need it to do. Um, like all defences with, with the arms and the hands, it's a reactive defence. So it's a defence that um, is triggered by you seeing something coming your way. Plenty of other types of defence are proactive. You do them on the basis that something might happen. This is reactive. You do it on the basis that you know something has happened. A trigger, an opponent has thrown a shot and you respond. Okay, what I'll do, um, I will demonstrate the move three times uh, at two different angles and then I'll talk to you about the mechanics of it and the common faults that occur when, when people um, use it. Okay. So here's the demonstration. From our boxing stance, as always, lying on the floor, going from toe on the front foot to the heel on the back foot. So we start off in that position, and all that we do on the sight of a shot coming our way, and from the side. Really quite simple. So let's talk about what's happening, break it down. From the stance, when you see the shot coming, your arms come turn up and come together, okay? Bringing the tips of your first knuckle, if you like, up to about eyebrow level, okay? The palms turn in slightly. So that all you have is this small gap going up the middle, well enough to stop any shots coming, okay? The arms are strong, I'm making them strong, okay? I don't want them to be weak and floppy. So come up, block, back down to the defence position. Up, and back down to guard position. And up and down. I mean, this is really simple, but there are some, well, three common faults that occur when people do this. Uh, number one, don't raise your arms too high. Don't bring them up here. Okay, I've, heard, I've heard some people online actually call this the, the crazy monkey defence or something. I mean, it, it might work in other, in other combat sports, but I'll be honest with you, if one of my boxer's opponents regularly does this, when headshots come their way, I will just tell them to target the body. And you know, I've said this before. It doesn't matter who you are or what your name is. If you get hit properly in the body and the key organs, the key points, you're going to be in serious trouble. So make sure that in covering up the attack to the head, you don't expose the body too much. You always want to be in a position to be able to block body shots as well. Okay. Um, secondly. Don't cower behind this defence. It's not something, this is not pulling down the shutters and hiding away. You've got to maintain visibility of the, of the threat, okay? By you covering up, closing your eyes, looking down at the floor, all you're doing is leaving yourself exposed to more shots that you can't see coming. I can't emphasise enough how important it is, and this may sound simple, to keep your eyes on the threat Think about it, the floor is not going to punch me in the face, okay? The, 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 the person in front of me is the one who's going to attack. 
not the floor. So don't be looking at the floor. Look where the attack's coming from. If you need to, drop down a little with your knees. Okay? But make sure you keep sight on what's coming your way. And finally, um, as with all arm defences, if you're going to block, you know you're in range. Okay? If, if, if your opponent's up, shots hit your arms, you are in range. So don't block and then not respond. Block, fire back. Okay? Don't, do not just block and cover up and do nothing. Waste of your time. Okay? Doesn't get you any points. Doesn't help you work harder on the bags or anything else. Okay, so that's a double arm block, also known as covering up. Superb defence. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Feel free to leave any comments, questions down below, and I'll get back to you. Cheers.